The Ministry of Magic is something I have always wanted to build in Minecraft. I just think it would look absolutely incredible and I just love its design so, so much. And so, let's just go ahead and build it. And so the Ministry of Magic uses some very unique green and red colour bricks which I felt couldn't be created using Minecraft's default textures. And so the first thing I did was to create some custom textured bricks using the default stone brick texture as a base to draw upon. And once I was happy with the texture I had made, I began to make this fountain that appears in the main atrium to act as a sort of marker for the scale I was going to build at. And as usual, this world will be free to download for my Patreon members. And let's say if this video hits 2,000 likes, I'll make the world download public for everyone to download. And you know, while you're down that like in the video, a subscribe to the channel would be hugely appreciated. But anyway, let's get into building the rest of the ministry. Burning off the same scale as the fountain, I began to add in the floor of the atrium, which is a very simple spruce floor, which is then surrounded by the brick texture. And then off to one side, we do have a nice wall going down, which is where all of the flu network fireplaces enter into the ministry. And so they have a nice arch design, which I found quite hard to build in the first place. And so I took a few attempts until I was happy with it, and then I simply repeat it down, all the way down the walkway. And then I began to add on the roof of the area, but then later decided to let some lights in at the top. And there we go, we had the main walkway area into the Ministry of Magic now done, which of course led into the atrium. And so surrounding the atrium, there are lots of office blocks, and so I made these designs. One design for a straight office, and another design for the offices on the diagonal around the circle. And then I just began pasting them in, and I did take a few attempts to get them right, but eventually I was able to get a design where they nicely were able to be rotated around the entire atrium. And so once I was done, I simply went and pasted them around the entire area. And with that, the main atrium was basically done. And so there is a large archway which leads into the next area of the ministry, and that is what is going to go into this massive gap right here. And it did take a few attempts to get ready, it did put me into a bit of a slump for a while, however finally I returned to this world and I was able to build the archway which is at a slight angle and does go into the next area. And so very simply, I pasted that in. And then I just built around the archway using some glass to mark off where I was meant to build. And there we go, there we had the archway nice and complete. And with that done, it did mean we could start working on the second area of the Ministry of Magic. But first, I did notice that there were some small details at the bottom of all the office areas, and so I quickly added those in using some gold and some brick walls. Of course, once again, making use of my texture pack. And then also I added in some drain decorations around the fountain to be more accurate. And then with that done, we can now begin the second cylinder. And so the first thing I did was I actually raised the entirety of the Ministry of Magic because this second area does descend down into the depths of the Ministry and therefore I had to raise the entire build. And once again, I employ the same technique of making a cylinder using some glass blocks to mark off where the archway is going to enter into this area. And then I added in the balcony, and then I began to paste in the offices around the area. And what is special about this is there is a large pedestal in the centre for a statue. And this was the first ever organic statue I have ever really built really, so I don't have much experience 
with statues at all and so it did take me some time to get started but I did build a simple skeleton and then began to build upon it however I did find the flowing shape of the robes extremely difficult to pull off however eventually I did come up with something that I was reasonably happy with but it was very difficult and it certainly could do with some more improvement. And then I added in some birch slabs, just to add in some extra decoration, and then finally the head with a beard, and I was very happy with how the head turned out. And for such a now done, I could begin to copy and paste all of the offices once again around this second area. And it certainly does make the view from the atrium much, much more stunning with the addition of the statue. And so I began to add in some details into this second archway which will lead into the third area which has a nice little observation deck and some lovely nice details with some I say more scenic offices surrounding the top which have some larger windows and some nice decorations around them and with that done we can now once again begin filling in the cylinder around the area just to make it slot nicely into the area. And then once again, just some more balconies at the top of all these offices, just to finish off and add some more decoration. And there we go, the second area was now done, and my gosh, it does look stunning, especially with the statue in all of its glory. And then we began the third and final area of the Ministry of Magic, by very simply just copying and flipping this second area into the third one, and then very simply just going ahead and copying and pasting all of these offices and yes it is quite a lot of copy and pasting and it actually is a very simple design of the ministry just with three pretty much identical areas making it very easy to build however the geometry of how it all lined up was quite difficult to pull off but thanks to what did it it was rather simple and then the final area we had to build was Umbridge's office area which is what we see in the Deathly Hallows films and this area is towards the top of the second area and it is very similar to the area below with a nice archway but it does have a slightly different observation deck area and then of course with the office area behind it which does go around the third area so it does fit very nicely into the Ministry of Magic design. And I very much enjoyed using the white colour palette since it just contrasted so much with everything else that we had just built. And with that done, the only thing we had left to do was to add in the domes which go on the top of all of the three areas. And so using a sphere, I cut off the top and simply made a dome design for the top and then pasted those onto all of the areas. And then finally, whilst boarding on livestream, someone did suggest to build the massive poster of Cornelius Fudge. I tried my best and I'd say it's modern art, it's Minecraft, it's pretty hard to put pixel art. But there we go, I pasted that in and it does just add an extra sense of being complete to the atrium. And so, that is the ministry now complete. Let's take a look at what we've done. And so there we have it, that is the Ministry in all of its glory. And once again, this world download is available for my Patreon members. And if this video hits 2,000 likes, I will make it publicly available for everyone's download for free of charge. And so if you did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like and press the subscribe button. It really does support the channel. And make sure to comment down below which Harry Potter location you want me to build next. The next thing I will be building will be Malfoy Manor. And do make sure to check me out on Twitch where I do stream occasionally for some slightly more informal streams. And so that's all from me. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.